Welcome to Sun, Moon, Star Tarot, where I encourage you to pursue your soul. These next football songs are to align us and to bless this reading. This is going to be a monthly um, update for the sign of Taurus, Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, Taurus Rising, slash Ascendant. And this is going to be just your career, finances, and love life, right? Uh, two cards for each, and then an advice card. Um, so I'm going to be using the Shadowscape deck, and I'm going to be using the Wisdom of the Oracle deck by Colette Burnley. Love this deck here. All right. So, we're going to look at, again, your career, finances, and love life, all right? So, yeah, let's go get started, I guess. Oh, for the month of November, by the way. <laughs> yes, the month of November. Wow, for the month of November. It's insanity. So two cards for career for Taurus. Two cards for career for Taurus. All right here we have the world, beautiful. Um, then we have the Six of Pentacles. So this may look like um, whatever you are, whatever you have been working towards. Um, may this be a goal, a certain amount of income that you have been wanting. Something basically has just come to like an end and a beginning basically and it's, it's a very auspicious time at this point in your career yeah okay perfect yeah we have a beginning and then we have the wheel of fortune things ending and something beginning here and then we have the world so we have two powerful cards about time here and this is letting me know that you're really entering a period to where it's it's going to be very very steady growth and very very like i'm getting a gradual like flower blooming kind of in a way uh, and we have a Ten of Cups, that is emotional fulfillment in your job, temperance, balance, and Ten of Wands. Um, so a new responsibility is also coming in with this uh, career that you're in. And so you're just needing to um, remain grounded and take the response. Like when you receive more responsibility, it is more work to maintain. So understanding that and going into it with that mindset, all right? And then so we're going to do uh, advice for career. We have yang, we have action. Knowing when to take action, knowing when to be passionate, but right now is a lot of action and it's going to be a lot of grounded action. Uh, so action with purpose, action that gets you somewhere. So having that mindset. Um, I was gonna put these back, but I'm actually just gonna scoot them to the side. All right, so my uh, camera ran out of space, so I had to clear some stuff off, but we are back, we are up, we are running. Um, I did pull some cards, it was the Nine of Cups, the Tower, and the four wands, but I put them back um, so if they come back out, they were meant to be. If not, that's okay as well. All right, so now we're going to do finances for Taurus for the month of November. Finances for Taurus, month of November. All right. Finances for Taurus, month of November, please. We have the Wheel of Fortune coming out again. And we have a page of wands here. So going on this new, it's like this is a beautiful, auspicious time, but it's kind of like there's still more work to be done basically here. Um, I do believe this is a pretty auspicious time for you, but nothing, you know, we have Ace of Swords, new um, mindset, the Empress Abundance, Four of Swords, Winter Rest, Nine of Cups again. Cool. All right. So yeah, I'm not getting that there's any significant struggle or there should not be a significant struggles so I'm going around going on right now financially especially because it seems like there was this new like um, position available or just like an upgrade or something that came into fruition that was a result of an upgrade in status All right so please clarify oh excuse me advice for rule of fortune page of wands and finances much give me like four cards <laughs> all right i'm gonna take this one here you have loyal heart and now it's following your spirit following your heart following really staying really grounded and heart centered this may be a very significant pay raise um something that is not letting uh this financial upgrade change you 
while well, this is happening or will happen in the future. I'm getting, since the Wheel of Fortune is here, that means time's a little more fluid. But this is also the card of 10. And we, we were in month 10, so there's that as well. Um, and then love life. What is coming in love life for Taurus? Right? You have the chariot. I don't know why, but I got a feeling that you were already in a relationship. Um, there may be really fast progression towards a relationship. And we have Ace of Wands. Two cards about really, really like quickness and really fast speed. So I'm getting that if you're not in a relationship, it's going to happen really quickly, especially after this financial shift for you. Um, if not, you if you are in a relationship, things are like really kind of moving really fast. So there may be talk of engagements, um, proposals, just... I'm getting a lot of like upgrading and a lot of advancement here. All right, so we have Seven of Swords, Page of Cups, Eight of Swords, Nine of Cups. So they get, um, not yet, but there may be some confusion. I'm going to actually clarify the Seven of Swords here. This is a very double whammy here. I wasn't expecting to see that card. All right, so I'm going to be using my right away deck to clarify, and then I'm going to pull two more cards of advice. Seven of Swords. What does this card mean? What does Seven of Swords mean, Spirit? Plus, the Queen of Swords. What does this mean for Taurus, Spirit? Taurus, Spirit. Um, one, please. They gave me like four. Uh, two. One would be great. Thank you. All right. Five of Cups, the Lovers, the Sun, the Tower again. Um, it look, it's looking like to me in the past there was this mis there was this heartbreak, and you're trying to bring that mindset into this new beginning for yourself. Um, because we do have Seven of Swords, and then we have the Page of Cups here, and then we have the Eight of Swords, and then we have Nine of Cups. Um, the Knight of Cups can be someone who is insincere. So maybe you're questioning um, the, if this is legit or not. And then we have the Hangman. And so also that stagnant energy, right? And then we have the Three of Cups, I mean, Three of Wands here again. So needing to like really take this journey. And then you see the Sun imagery here. And then we also have the Sun as well. This other deck. So it's looking like this is kind of like paranoia kind of like in your head kind of like you questioning and you doubting yourself or you need needing to like kind of ground yourself and ground your intuition um and so you can be really able to rely on that as a steady guide for yourself um drowning your intuition that's a really interesting concept that i just received now so um if you have a question about that um just let me know in the comments box down below i'm going to meditate on that concept a little bit longer before i give advice on how to do that because that was literally just giving given to me just now all right okay we have a fork in the road kind of that should i should i not mentality all right and overall advice for taurus for the month of november i just got a frog in my throat so um you may not be saying how you feel or there may be lack of communication uh, with your feelings. Overall advice for Taurus. Done. Thank you. You have co-create. So this is the time, <laughs> the upgrade. It's your upgrade period. Um, this is your upgrade and you're learning how to co-create with the universe in a more healthy, beneficial way. But there's still some layers to shed here. There's still some fear to shed. So we're working on your divine feminine energy, um, grounding your divine feminine energy. That looks like, oh, they gave it to me just now. Thank you. All right. So grounding looks like inviting your spirit into your body, right? All right. So when you ground your intuition, you invite your intuition in, but you don't ask it. You just allow it. You allow it to like sit. Um, for this exercise, I would ground it in your heart. And then kind of ground it in your solar plexus chakra. These two chakras. All right, so I got cut off again. Uh, but this should be the last time because I hope I hopefully I fixed it, so I can go for at least fifteen minutes. But there's no way 
I will add 15 more minutes to this, but because we were wrapping it up anyway. All right, but I was talking about the two chakras here. So we have your solar plexus chakra and your heart chakra. And basically chakras are energy centers in your body. And you can use them to really <clears throat> um, ground energy and awaken um, energy in your body, basically. All right, so I was talking about grounding your intuition and grounding um, your divine feminine energy. So grounding your intuition, again, I'm just going to go over it quickly, is you can ground it, like kind of imagine your crown chakra opening, this one, and like it flowing down and then grounding it through your heart, which your heart purifies, discerns, and then your solar plexus chakra, um, willpower, action. So this is how you put it to action, basically, all right? So your heart chakra is important because it kind of like filters out the information for you. And it like takes what you can, like it allows you to understand. Um, and then grounding your divine feminine energy. Um, for this, I like just to imagine love, healing energy, um, pink, gold, silver, white, very feminine colors, I guess you could say. And just kind of letting it seep into my right side. Um, your left side of your body is associated with the divine masculine. Left brain meaning science oriented, math oriented. And then your right side is or um, oriented with the divine feminine uh, creativity, right? So use your right side and ground the energy into that side. Um, you can also use a crystal. Simply hold it in your hands at the intention with the crystal. Close your hand and let the crystal do it for you. Um, so yeah, overall message is to co-create with the universe at this time. Bottom of the deck here, we do have serendipity. Um, things happening in the divine order, synchronicities happening around you. Thinker, too much in your head, possibly about this love connection. Unfinished symphony. And truth be told, all right? So thank you so much for watching, Taurus. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Do you know that I'm offering a powerful, powerful six-week leadership program about expanding your spirituality and your intuition? If you're interested, everything you need to know is in the description box down below, including my landing page, www.spiritualgenia.com. And you can book your private reading with me at www.thesubmoonstartour.com. And you can follow me on Instagram at spiritualgenia. Thank you so much for watching. Namaste.